Sometimes you may want to capture data from a form that already exists on your website into Act Marketing Automation. In this video, I want to show you how you can attach a landing page to a form that has already been created on your website. For the sake of explanation, I'm going to use the free trial form on the ACT website as an example. So I'm going to go to ACT.com and click the free trial link in the upper right corner. You can see there's already a form that exists on this screen, and this is the form I want to use for my landing page. Now this part is very important. In order for me to attach a landing page to this form and begin collecting that data in my ACT Marketing Automation account, I must be able to edit the code on this web page. If I don't have access to edit this web page, then I'll need to get in touch with my web admin who can help me. But for the sake of this video, let's say that I am the webmaster of act.com. I'm going to create a landing page that pulls data from these six fields, first name, last name, company name, phone number, email, and country into act marketing automation. To begin doing this, I'll go back to Act Marketing Automation, and I'm going to go to my Landing Pages area. And then from here, I'll go to my Actions menu and click New Page. Now, since the page that I want to create is based off a form that already exists, I don't need the designer. What I do need is the blank HTML page. So I'll click that and continue. So for page name, I'm going to click Contact the Act Team because this is what will show up in the title bar of their browser tab. Smart tags are here so that you can use for organizing your landing pages. And page type has already been pre-selected as my website. So let's click continue to go to the next screen. Redirect URL is the page where we will send them after they submit the form to me. If you don't know this URL, you can always submit the form with dummy data and then grab the URL for the page that you see after submitting the form. I'm just going to put act.com as a placeholder. The notifications field lets you enter an email address or a list of email addresses if you want to receive an email notification every time this form is submitted. Perhaps in this field you should put an email address for someone from your sales team so that they can jump on these fresh new leads. In the auto response field, whenever someone submits this form to you, you have the option to automatically add them to a current marketing campaign. This field lets you select a response to them after they submit the form to you. So if you have a campaign that you'd like to add them to, select that campaign from this list. In the Assign Contact To field, you can decide ahead of time who will be the account manager for all contacts that get created by this web form. I'm going to choose myself. And finally, Allow Duplicates, just as you'd expect, you can eliminate duplicate entries for people who fill out the form more than one time. This triggers off of a match in the email address field of your form. Everything is all set, so let's click Create. Now this screen loads a workflow view of your landing page form. Next up, we're going to create a form identical to the one that's already on our website, and that way we can make sure that all of the field data matches perfectly before we start receiving submissions. So I'm going to keep a separate web browser tab open to the page of my free trial form. Back in Act Marketing Automation on my landing page workflow, let's click the box that says Form because we want to edit this form. Now in the Pages area at the top, it doesn't matter what we put in the Page Title or Submit Button Text fields because this form will not actually be seen by any of the end users. This form is going to sit behind the real form and will not be visible to anyone. So I can just leave these fields alone. From the Actions menu on the right, I'm going to add my first control. A control represents a field or a question from the form on our website. The first field is called First Name. So I'm going to choose a single text box and click Add Control. And then in the Enter Your Question field, I'm just going to type First Name. Since this is a required field, I need to make sure I check the box that says require an answer to this question. Now I'm not concerned with the width and heights here, but the bottom area, map to an act field, is very important. This is what makes the whole landing page work, so you have to be careful here. I'm going to leave contact in the first drop down, and then I have to specify the exact field in act, and I know that it's called first name. So I'll scroll down and choose first name. 
And now from the Actions menu, let's go to Save and Return. Now in the Layout area, we can see that the first name question is here. Now I'll add a second one for last name, and there are two ways to do this. I could go to my Actions menu and choose Add Control once again, or I could just click the plus button on my first field to insert a question after it. And just as before, it's going to be a single text box called last name. It's required, and I'm going to map it to the last name field in my database. And then I'll do save and return. Now I have fields for first and last name. I'm going to pause here now and I'm going to add additional fields for company, phone number, and email. Okay, as you can see on this form, I've added first name, last name, company name, phone number, and email. But I have one more field that I need to add, and that is for country. For this field, you might think that I need to use a drop down, but that's not the case. Since the form on my website already has the drop down list built, this landing page is going to grab whatever the customer selects in this list. So for country, I can add a single text box as well. And I'll just call this country. And of course, I do want to map this with business address country and save and return. Once I see all the fields I need in the layout area of my landing page, I should scroll to the top, go to my Actions menu, and click Save and Return one final time. And now I'm viewing the workflow once again. Only now the form area contains all the fields mapped from the form on my website to the actual fields that I need. The next step that I need is to get the HTML script for my landing page, which I would then copy onto this page of my website. So to do this, from the workflow screen of my landing page, I'll go to my Actions menu and click generate HTML script. I should now copy all of this HTML script and then deliver that to the web developer for my site, instructing them to paste that script onto this page somewhere, which will then enable this landing page to capture the data on each form submission.